let's go over a few things regarding the transformer. This is the Ed Anderson 50, uh, 5002 reproduction output transformer and there's a few things you got to do to make it work properly. This is for the Rev D. You need to tie the orange and yellow together and underneath the heat shrink these are actually physically soldered together. So make sure you solder those together and heat shrink them up and put those out of the way. The red and the blue go to the output. Uh, the blue goes to the second pin and the red goes to the third pin. This also ties back all the way back to the, the meter as well to get the output meter uh, signal to the meter. All right, so going back to the transformer itself, let's go ahead and wire it up. And if you're using the terminal mounts and you're not wiring directly, make sure you put the, the wire in between the jaws and tighten it up and pull it a little bit to make sure that it's fastened securely. I've done this numerous times when I'm in a rush. I'll do this, I'll put it in, okay, thinking that I'm, you know, getting it in there properly and I'm like, yeah, here it goes. Yeah, I insert the wire and I tighten it up and, oh look, it's not really in there at all. So make sure you test every single wire that you put in there and make sure it's securely fastened inside. Make sure the grips are gripping. So we're gonna do the brown, okay, secure. White, black. Test it, looks good. White, red. This next one. Make sure also when you tighten these things up that they're not clamping down on the on the insulation, the plastic insulation on the wire. Make sure you're actually connecting with the wire itself. Test each one, give it a little tug. Next one is black. Yeah, you might have to look in on it. Like I'm looking in on the angle to make sure that it's actually getting in the jaws of the, the terminal strip. And we got a gray. And finally, the violet. All right, that's it. That's how I do the output transformer.